Hey guys, how's it going? It is S2G and welcome to episode number 17 of the Bournemouth career mode series. In the last episode, we managed to sign Juan Itobe from Roma for 12 million, which I think is a bargain. Hopefully in this episode, we'll be able to sign more players. If you guys are enjoying this series, go ahead and drop a like on this video. 50 likes would be awesome. Also subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Press conferences will be returning from the next episode. So if you guys have any questions, just drop them down in the comment section below. Also guys, in the last episode, we were looking to sign Dominic Iofa, Grimaldo, Munir and even Michael Keane but you guys don't want me to sign Keane and you want me to sign Boschkagli so we'll go for him but you guys are pretty happy with Dominic Iofa or even Grimaldo or Munir Al Haddadi so we'll try and sign them so as you can see here I'm putting an offer for Dominic Iofa the player from Wolves 72 overall right now 21 years old I'm offering Simon Francis here because I don't really use him 1.5 million plus Francis should get the deal done hopefully it will because then it will be a fantastic deal because then we're just giving away a player we don't use and getting someone awesome as you can see before going for Michael Keane I decided to go for Bush Kagli because he's the player you guys want me to bring in he's 74 rated and just 18 years old but he'll be expensive guys because he's so high rated for his age and he's gonna be expensive so what I've decided to do is offer Mark Pugue and a bit of money so let's offer Pugue and something around 3 million maybe or 2 million or something like that yeah I think 3 million should be enough I doubt Nice will accept it but if they do that would also be a freaking awesome deal because we haven't been using Pugue at all also guys now I'm putting an offer here for Alejandro Grimaldo the former Barcelona player if we could sign him it would be freaking insane I mean we do have a good left back right now Tyron Minks but we do need good backup options so I'm putting in an offer of 2 million plus Charlie Daniels because I don't really use Daniels I don't enjoy using him plus he doesn't want to be at the club so I think it would be an awesome deal if we could get rid of him as well as get a proper quality left back like obviously Grimaldo now guys I'm also going to be signing Muni and El Haddadi hopefully we will be able to get this deal done because a lot of you guys do want me to sign him but I think it's going to be expensive because Muni is a decent player on FIFA he's got a very high potential I think 85 or 86 and I think he will cost a lot so what I'm doing is I'm putting an offer here of 2 million plus Richie I'm not sure if it will go through or not but if it does that would be also an amazing deal and as you can see here we have simmed this game against Hertha Berlin in the European International Cup obviously it's a pre-season tournament and we did win one goal to nil so that's pretty good here an offer comes for Ryan Gold from Derby County of 15 and a half million there is absolutely no way we are selling him he's 77 rated but only 20 years old so there's no way we are going to be selling him also guys Burnley won 7 million for Michael Keane in my opinion that's a bit too much but obviously I'll offer 3 million plus Elphick and let's see how does this deal go through hopefully we will be able to get Michael Keane or either Bosch Kagli by the end of this episode we now have a transfer offer for Mark Pugue and I do actually accept it but guys I forgot he was involved in the Bosch Kagli deal so that might not go through and I might have to put in another transfer offer to Nice so we'll do that but first guys Barcelona do reject the offer for Munir El Haddadi they do not want Richie but what I'm doing is I'll offer 5 million plus Richie let's see what Barcelona responds to Benfica also do not want Daniel so what I'll do is I'll just offer like 5 million for Alejandro Grimato I might be overpaying but I know guys this guy is a beast in career mode he'll be a fantastic backup option to Mings or maybe first choice in the future here Wilson does score two goals as well as Bredel grabs a goal and we do beat Augsburg in our third and final preseason game obviously now we progress into the semis of the preseason anyways guys as you can see here needs to accept the transfer offer for Bushnagli that does mean Puke hasn't been sold yet so if he could get the deals done pretty quickly then obviously we will have Bush Kagli or else we have to put in another transfer offer and try to get him as you can see Wolves do accept the transfer offer for Dominic Iofa they're going to be offering 30 grand per week five years and a squad rotation player role hopefully he will accept that and as you can see here Burnley do accept the transfer offer for Michael Keane 3 million and Elphick I think we can get him but the thing is his wages are too high I mean 50 grand per week for a obviously squad rotation center back I don't think it's worth it so I might have to skip on Michael Keane instead and try and get Bush Kagli. so that's basically my plan as you can see Puke now does get sold that means we will have to put in another transfer offer for our man Bush Kagli. but for now let's focus on the other transfers Grimaldo might be joining us he wants 30,000 euros per week we'll offer him five years on the contract and a squad rotation player role hopefully he will accept it obviously they can't give him a better squad role because in my opinion Tyron Minks is much better than him but good news guys our first signing of this transfer window apart from Etobe is Dominic Iofa the 72 rated player obviously 21 years old he's gonna be insane for us and as you can see guys the Munir deal seems not to go through at all because 
Barcelona don't want Matt Ritchie so what I'm doing is I'll offer 7 million for Munir El Haddadi and see what will happen because they really want Munir at the club. An offer here for Liam Moore, there's absolutely no way we are selling him. He was the best defender of last season so there's no way we will be selling him. And that's pretty much it guys. Now as you can see we do sim another game and we obviously do lose this one in the semi-finals of the preseason cup to Atalanta on penalty. So that was pretty bad but we do get a decent amount of money from it. And as you can see Michael Keane does deny the contract offer we offered him. He doesn't want to join. I think he wants more money. To be honest. I think he wants a better squad role so what we'll do is we'll offer him that but I'm not sure we will sign him or not because my priority now is Bushkangli and now let's go ahead and put in a transfer offer for Bushkangli the best part I think about him is that he's 74 rated and he's only 18 years old so if we do manage to sign him we won't need another centre back for quite a long time because he's ridiculously good so I think you know we should be offering somewhere around 4 to 5 million for him I think 5 million would be absolutely perfect so let's go ahead and put an offer of 5 million for Bushkangli 74 rated 18 years old as I said and I think wage budget for him you know the wages for him should be around 10k per week so if we could get him it would be freaking insane there you can see guys Grimaldo does accept the contract offer and he will be joining us another great signing left back 20 years old he'll be a decent backup option for Tyron Mings also guys now it's time for some training I'm training the same batch of players here Wilson, Ituba, Hughes gold and all that so hopefully they will grow and as you can see not too much of growth obviously Dele Alli's passing does get a bit better and obviously Iturbe's attacking positioning gets a bit better as well so that's pretty good to see but guys Barcelona don't want to sell Munir Al Haddadi to us they want 12 and a half million and there's absolutely no way I'm paying that much for Munir so I guess I have to look in for another right winger maybe someone like Adam Traore obviously he was at the Barca Academy as well he's very pacey in this game decent dribbling has got decent potential his wages are lesser than obviously Munir Al Haddadi and I think he would be a perfect player for us so what I'm doing is I'll offer 2 million plus Richie let's see if Aston Villa do accept that because I really think you know Aston Villa would want a player like Matt Ritchie in their side but anyways as you can see Michael Keane might be signing for us but the thing is I don't want to sign him I want to go for Bushkangli so let's offer Bushkangli a new contract 10 grand per week for 5 years and a crucial first team player role no an important first team player role I think that'd be better 74 rated 18 years old let's try and get him it would be freaking insane if we do so and I'm not probably going to sign Michael Keane so Aston Villa do reject the transfer offer for Atama Traore I expected that they want 10 million in total for him so let's offer 5 million and Richie let's see if that would work that would be the most I'd offer for Atama Traore or else I would look for another right winger but guys we have signed Bush Kangli finally after all the drama after all that you know puke issues and all that we have finally signed Bush Kangli now we will reject the transfer offer for Michael Keane Sorry Keane, we don't need you. I'm happy with Bushkagli, he's our man. Also guys, more good news. Aston Villa do accept the transfer offer for Atama Traore. 5 million plus Richie has done it. 50 grand per week, 5 years and obviously maybe squad rotation player. I'll try that out. If that does not work, obviously I'll offer him an important first team player. But I doubt he will be getting that much game time because we have Juan Itobe who is absolutely ridiculous in this game. And as you can see, as expected, Atama did decline the contract offer at first. So what we'll do is we'll offer him the same 50 grand per week for 5 years and an important first team player role. So hopefully he'll accept it this time and let's see what he does reply with. So yeah guys, he does accept it. So we have signed Atama Traore as well another great signing just look at that guys we still have 16.3 million left so if you guys want me to make any other signing let me know what I'm thinking is to save the money up till January and once we get more money from the Champions League as well I'll buy a you know mega signing or something like that so for now I think my team looks really good just have a look at it on the left hand side we have Gretel then Wilson Viturbe then we have Gold, Hughes and Ali in midfield Mings, Gomez, Cook, Flanagan in defense and Dragoski as a goalkeeper in our second team we have Fraser, Afobe and Adama Traore up front Pereira, Gosling and Sir in midfield, Grimaldo, Boschkagli, Moore, Iofa in defence and Boruch as a goalkeeper. We also have Joshua King as a squad player so our team is looking really balanced now and I think it's good for the first half of the season. If you guys think we need to improve in any other positions just let me know in the comment section below. Also the question of the day is obviously to leave questions for the next episode's press conference so go ahead and drop a question for the next episode's press conference. Obviously we face Man City, Aston Villa, Swansea City and Everton in the next episode so for Man Massive games. We'll try out all our new plays in the next episode. We do have quite a lot of money. As I said, if you guys have any other transfer suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. Hope you guys are enjoying this series, guys. If you guys are, don't forget to leave a like on this video. Also, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And follow me on Twitter to stay updated with the series. And I'll see you guys soon with another episode of the series. Maybe tomorrow, but that's pretty much it. And I will see you guys next time.